At the outbreak of the Civil War, John F. Reynolds was appointed Brigadier General of Volunteers in the Union Army and put in command of one of the brigades of Pennsylvania Reserves. During the Seven Days Campaign, he commanded his brigade at the Battle of Beaver Dam Creek and Gaines Mill. As George McClellan's army moved up the Virginia Peninsula in 1862's Peninsula Campaign, John F. Reynolds occupied and became military governor of Fredericksburg, Virginia. His brigade was then ordered to join the V Corps just before the start of the Seven Days Battle. The brigade was hit hard by the Confederate attack on June 26 at the Battle of Beaver Dam Creek, but their defensive lines held. The Confederates' attack continued on June 27, and Reynolds, exhausted from the Battle of Gaines Mill two days earlier and without sleep, was captured in the swamps of Virginia. Thinking he was in a place of safety, he fell asleep and was not aware that his retreating troops left him behind. He was extremely embarrassed when brought before the Confederate general. D.H. Hill was an army friend and colleague of before the war. Hill allegedly told him, Reynolds, do not feel so bad about your capture. It's the fate of wars. Reynolds was transported to Richmond and held in Libby Prison, where he was quickly exchanged. After he was released, he was put in command of the entire division of Pennsylvania Reserves. At the Battle of Second Manassas, Reynolds led a rear guard counterattack that bought time for the Union Army to escape annihilation. He was unable to participate in the Battle of Antietam because of a panicky Pennsylvania governor, Andrew Curtin, when he demanded that he command local militia forces during Lee's invasion. Reynolds once again commanded his division at the Battle of Fredericksburg after Fredericksburg when Joseph Hooker was given command of the Army of the Potomac. Reynolds was given command of Hooker's old First Corps. On the morning of July 1, 1863, as he was leading his forces towards Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, Reynolds received a message that Confederate forces were almost there as well. Reynolds led his first corps to McPherson's Ridge when he received a bullet through the neck. Reynolds died instantly. He was the highest-ranking soldier on either side killed at the Battle of Gettysburg.